Okay, so let's talk about the parts of the instrument for the cello and bass. Now, if you already saw the violin viola parts of the instrument, this is the pretty much the same exact thing. The only difference, of course, is the size and a few other things. Uh, so at the bottom here, the fine tuners are much larger and there's no chin rest because you don't put this on your chin, though you could, but it'd be impossible to play comfortably. Um, one thing you'll notice too is the end pin. Now, the end pin is already put in all the way. Some of them have a rubber tip, some of them have a spike, which is important to have on carpet or on a hard floor, um, which is why you'll get to have a slip stop or a rock stop to keep it from sliding around. Now, if it's carpeted floor at your house, just the metal tip will be fine. If it's like a hardwood floor, sometimes the metal tip will do just fine. Other times, if it's tile or something else like laminate, the rubber tip will be better. Either way, I would suggest using a rock stop, especially the, the belt type, to keep them from sliding around and always have it the same distance from your body. To adjust the length of this peg, we just simply loosen the peg, righty tighty lefty loosey, just a little bit, and then we'll just pull it out. Now, this particular one has little notches. These notches help identify the length that you normally put it out without having to guess it. Some of them don't have these little notches. The basses usually do, but the cellos not always. So you have to usually guess. I would recommend getting a marker or something like that to mark on here to kind of get used to where it's supposed to be at once you get a specific length figured out. Eventually the marker is going to rub off anyways uh, and it's easy to claim, but at least for a while you get to have an idea of what the length should be. And we can always adjust it. So once you have it in, in place for a specific length, we're going to make sure that the notch is placed just below this little ring here. And then as you tighten it, you can adjust it and make sure pulling back and forth that it's not going to move. That's where the notches are there. Let's keep it from sliding back in and out and to hold it in place much better. So now that it's not moving back and forth, we're ready to play. When we're done, we loosen the screw and we push it back in place. And we're done. Now for the bass has everything just like the cello, except for one thing. <laughs> I keep saying that. Now, these don't have pegs. The cellos do, but the basses do not. They have brass machine heads. Now, these machine heads act just like the pegs do, except that the pegs aren't sticking out for you can turn them based on pressure. Since the strings are so big, so big, that pressure won't do it alone. So this gear and screw attachment here helps tighten and loosen. Again, depending on where the string is wrapped around and how it's wrapped around, it's gonna depend on which way you turn it. And you can always figure that out by playing it or uh, and turning it as, as well. Uh, usually it's righty tighty lefty loosey kind of thing. Sometimes it's not depending on what side you're playing on. But again, this is the one thing that's different than all the other instruments. These have machine heads.